Dear Twin. So I think by going over my bookshelf here, you can see that I really like books. Um, this, I used to have a lot more actually, but I got rid of a good chunk sometime in the past few months, so there's a lot less, that's for sure. For the sake of this video, I'm going to stay near my bookshelf because, you know, I'm going to talk about books, so why not? When I was younger, I would read excessively, okay? I would read in the middle of math class in high school, I would read during car rides, I would read at a family member's house or even at family events, and I'm a little ashamed of this one, I would even read at restaurants and I would go out to eat with my family. Unfortunately, now that I am an adult, I don't have the same amount of time or energy to read the same way I used to back in high school. When I was younger, I would mainly read as a way to get away from my real life. Now I read mainly so I can learn more about whatever it is that I'm interested in at that very moment. And also so I can feel more inspired and feel more motivation and you know, do all that good stuff. 19 Minutes by Jodi Pickle has taught me how powerful words and actions can be. Up until I read a book, I didn't realize how I should be very careful with the things I say and the things I do, especially if there's any chance of them coming off as negative. I barely finished reading this book, but Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Suzanne was published in the 1960s. It's based in Hollywood, and it's taught me two important lessons here. Number one, sexism is everywhere. And okay, you know what? I've known sexism exists for a really long time now, but this book has made me even more aware of its existence, especially in Hollywood. Number two, substance abuse. See, I already know certain drugs I have to stay the hell away from because if you do it once, that is it. You're an addict. This book has made me even, has just pushed in my mind even more how easy it is to become addicted to certain drugs. One of the characters in the book starts off taking just a small dosage of a drug so she can get eight hours of sleep because you know sleep is freaking fantastic. But next thing you know, she's taking a massive amount more of that same drug just so she can still get those eight hours of sleep. Get Me Out of Here by Rachel Raylan is an autobiography about having borderline personality disorder. Part of me did read Get Me Out of Here for fun, but I mainly read it so I can really understand what it's like to have that disorder. In general, I do prefer to read autobiographies are about having a psychological disorder and that's just because for me personally, it's so much easier for me to understand that disorder through the point of view of someone who actually has it than reading a more textbook based definition of it. Yes Please by Amy Poehler is one of my favorites because it's taught me to not give up on your dreams, to just keep going and keep pushing because the harder you push, the more chances you have of actually achieving those goals and being happy with your life. And I cannot thank Amy Poehler enough for that. So I'm not exactly sure which was the first book I ever read, but it was, I want to say it was in first grade. It's the one with the turtle and the rabbit and they race and the turtle wins because the rabbit was all cocky and took a nap. Now that I've talked for who knows how long about the wonderful thing called books. Tell me, what specific books have helped you grow and taught you little lessons and why do you read them? Like, what did they do for you that helped you grow as a person? And also, is there a difference in the, in the type of books you read now than the type of books you read five years ago? What's Obama's favorite yoga position? The POTUS POSE! Eh, 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 get it, get it? Yes, you do, you're laughing. I know. That is it for this week's video. I can't wait to see you in yours next week. I hope you have a wonderful week and I love you. Bye!